Hi and welcome to Garrett's World of Geology. I'm your host Garrett Romain. This time we're out on a jade hunt. Found a nice big gravel bar near Darrington, Washington. And the, there's jade in these hills, so we're going to look around on the gravel bar and see what we can find. This spot is on the north fork of the Stillaguamish River, six miles east of Awesome. Here are some of the best books to be familiar with, and don't forget the Golden Fish pamphlet. Nearer to Darrington, X marks the spot for the Jade Rendezvous. It was a beautiful day with dozens of my favorite people, rock hounds. Check out these local samples of Jade on display. field trips for the Washington State Mineral Council. <laughs> <laughs> I need money? Uh, no. <laughs> just wanted to get, you know, uh, meet all the people I was hearing about online, really. You know, and and spread the word meetings. about Washington Jade? Well, yeah, you know, you know there isn't uh, a lot of people don't feel that we have Jade, you know, needed to get the word out, you know, you tell them Washington Jade, they go, eh, and, and So how many people you different. think you had so far? Uh, 40, 50? Uh, you know, they've been coming in and out. And I, Close to 100? Not yet, not yet. But, you know, okay. 40, 50. And you'll definitely do it again next year? Oh, definitely. We'll cool. be doing it in the summer next year. Got lucky on the weather. We got though. lucky with the weather this one. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing about Zeke's Rendezvous, which he organized through Facebook, is that so many jade lovers brought their local samples to view. You could pick pieces up, gauge their heft, see the natural rind, and feel the bumpy surface, which geologists call botroidal. Jade can be really hard to identify in the field. A steel pocket knife won't scratch fresh jade because it's about 7 on the Mohs scale, but the rind where it weathers can be much softer. We consulted with Lanny Ream, author of Gem Minerals of Washington, and asked him about some material we collected along Frog Creek Road, which is accessed near the mouth of Clear Creek, south of Darrington. He was skeptical and warned us that there was grossular garnet and green ferrosilicates all over the hills. But we did get to see Asbestos Falls. Picked uh, uh, carnelian, like planet Earth. citrine, geode. Remember, remember, you had that big one, and they were it's in the greens. Yeah. So I wasn't sure what the hell it was. I personally would guess not jade, but uh, I wouldn't, you know, it's jump up and down and insist it wasn't. Right. But it might really be neat, slabbed in the color and patterns. And stuff. I think. Yeah. So okay, so um, is Washington one of the best jade areas? In the northwest, this this area up here is pretty much it, isn't it, for in best the jade? Northwest, yeah. Because everything else is like you you've got some in the Olympics, right? Well, I don't know actually. I've, no one here has ever mentioned any, and anybody I've ever talked with has never actually mentioned it. But I see it mentioned in the rock count literature, so I don't. Know. Okay. I never found it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But that have this nice big build of the trinitites and all of our rocks yes yeah. related to that yep. and the variety it's more than body place else anywhere actually Pritatite is um, greenish right well or dark heavy dark it can depend on exactly what the mineralogy is it, it's I guess commonly you think of it as green but it can be basically black yeah or well greens you know that looks black put a light through it it's green so uh, but it's, it's softer. Just, yeah, it's uh, dark minerals that are not generally the hardness of jade. Of course, jade is so extra hard because of the that fibrous yeah. nature of it, all intergrown tie. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>
Wait, wait, wait. Start over. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, We're and then pros. also wanted to mention Lanny's new book will be coming out on uh, rock hounding, mineral collecting in Idaho and western Montana. Yes. Gem guides should be out soon. Should be out soon. Cool. Yeah. It does. Is it color? Lots of color shots in there. Or? It's the way they've been doing uh, the recent books. The way the, yours are. The color the plates on the inside. Color section, in the middle, yeah. and lots of photos and yeah. maps. In my book, Gem Trails of Washington, I list several jade spots, but my favorite is at Awesome. It's one of the few places where you can access Deer Creek gravels. We're here at Oso. Oso? Oso. On Deer Creek. You can see there's a pretty nice gravel bar over there. And then you can walk across this crestle, and there's a nice little beach right down there Some more bars we're gonna try this one over here so we can get to it from the trail <laughs> yeah I got a wet toe So that's the story on Jade in the Darrington, Washington area. If you have a Facebook page, you can keep up with the planning for next year's Washington State Jade Rendezvous in August 2011. I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, I'll give you one. Oh, thank you. Because, yeah, I haven't, haven't seen it yet.